This update is massive. Proximity chat has now been added to Fortnite. Everything for Avatar The Last Airbender has been leaked, including skins and mythics, and a lot of items were changed, including the Frenzy Auto Shotgun. Stick around for the entire video in order to find everything out, or just in general if you're a legend, and subscribe down below if you're not yet subscribed to help me reach 10,000 subscribers. We're gonna be going over all of these updates while showing some ranked gameplay from my YouTube live stream the other day. So yes, Proximity chat is now in in Fortnite creative creators can now add this to their maps and if you somehow don't know how proximity chat works basically if you talk in game people can hear you based on how close they are the further away they are they can't hear at all the closer they are the louder you sound to them this will make creative game modes a lot more dynamic so game modes like lethal company are now possible in Fortnite. I doubt this will ever be added to battle royale based on how toxic voice chat can get if someone's not even on your team but definitely in the future if battle royale dies a lot and creative overtakes it I can see Fortnite definitely adding this to the game in order to bring the play base back up. The Avatar event arrives on Friday. You can now get Toph, Katara and Zuko in the item shop for 2,000 V-Bucks each, including a pickaxe and a backlink for each of these skins. If you get Zuko and Katara in a pack, you get a discount and you save 800 V-Bucks. Aang will arrive in the mini battle pass on Friday when the event drops, and this is the same date that all of the mythics drop as well. You'll be able to get him in the item store at a future date, just like previous mini battle pass skins, but he will be cheaper through the mini battle Battle pass. Fire bending, earth bending, and air bending has all been linked. Fire bending works as an attack base move and looks exactly like it would from the cartoon, which looks amazing. Air bending is a movement item, and this is what I'm most excited for. It looks really, really fun to use. And earth bending is a classic wall, very similar to the My Hero Academia Ice Mythic. So if you play Zero Build, you're probably going to love this item. All of the avatar mythics you can find from floor loot, chess, golden POI drones, claiming the floating island, and also from brand new pedestals that have the mythic scrolls on them. If you're gonna be getting any of these avatar skins, be sure to use code ONI. Other item changes is the chains of Hades have now been buffed with not only the combo attack, but the pull attack dealing more damage, meaning with a pull and free hits, you can now take someone fully out so 250 HP in zero build mode. Hand cannons have now increased the drop rates and will drop from rare chests. Water bending now has significantly faster projectile speeds along with increased fire rate and damage per strike, making it more OP. And the bullet speed of the Reaper sniper rifle is now slower and they've also reduced the drop rate from chests. The auto frenzy shotgun fire rate and headshot multiplier has also been reduced, but there's a few other changes to do with the sniper as well. The thunderbolt and wings that did get a bit of a nerf and completely removed from some competitive has been re-added, including the sniper rifle getting a buff spawn rate from being dropped from the floating loot island. Sniper rate has pretty much been doubled from the floating loot island. The thunderbolts been completely re-added to comp, including the chains of Hades being able to be dropped now from golden drone POIs and wings just buffed in terms of spawn rate overall. There's a bunch of new NPCs on the map. We now have Peerly, the new Charon skin, Katara, Aang, Toph, as well as Zuko and Nora being added to the island. Unsure what all of these NPCs do, if you figured it out before you've watched this video, make sure you leave a comment down below. We will be figuring this out during my live stream tomorrow. Subscribe to catch all my future live streams. There is two new cars coming to the game with the new season of Rocket Racing and you can use these in BR, so that's what I'm most hyped for. There's a brand new werewolf car that looks amazing and this other one from the trailer with these headlights that pop up and down, which I'm probably going to have to cop. You can now search creators in discovery via their username and not just the map code. So if you know who someone is, but you don't know the map code, give them a search up, their map will pop up. The FNCS Siren skin has now been revealed. Other skins that are going to be coming to the game include three new quest packs. Part of these three new quest packs, we're getting a brand new Hay skin called Happy Haze. She is going to be in the Shrieking Star pack. Another future skin coming is we're going to be getting Leah from Star Wars in the game in her Rebel style. If you're going to be copying any of these brand new skins, please use code ONI in order to support me. A bunch of emotes are now supported in LEGO Fortnite, including the Gritty, and a bunch of LEGO skins have now been added and updated. If you've got a ranked backling in the past, you can now change the rarity of these items and you're not locked into whatever rarity you got for it that season. However, when this comes to character skins that are affected by rank, this has not changed for them yet and we're unsure whether this will change in the future. Rarities for skins have been completely removed and now only collab skins have rarities. 
Pickaxes from now on will be set to rare rarity for all of them, but previous pickaxes do show what previous rarity they had. We're unsure whether Fortnite's gonna backlog and change this. In terms of bug fixes, they've now fixed a bug where players could fly forever with the wings of Icarus. This is no longer in the game. If you're level 200, you can now claim Titanfall Hades. This was a glitch before where you wouldn't get battle stars for it. Some skins have also been patched where your hair was showing through helmets and other parts of outfits. And finally, Poseidon has now been tagged with the word slurp. So if you search the word slurp, he now pops up with all the other slurp skins in your locker in the game. So those are all the updates. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this ranked gameplay from my YouTube live stream the other day. First time playing build mode this season. I think I did pretty all right. Subscribe down below to stay updated with other Fortnite changes, tips, and just all around Fortnite content if you want to be part of this amazing community. And as always, take care of yourselves and I'll catch you on the flip side. Enjoy the gameplay. Bye. How is that? Oh, do I have to aim high there? What is going on there? How am I missing that? How's zone moving? All right, one's in the tunnels. I think they'll get trapped. Oh, one's on the roof right there. Bullet drop feels so much higher than what I would be used to. All right, what are you doing? I'll go to low ground. I can play this, fine. Now get rid of that in the sky. Yeah, zones have started moving. Nice. This person's dead to zone. At least they should be. No way they can make it up, right? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> the car strat that I've been doing recently where it just like psychs them out, so good. Go back in zone. Yeah, have a splash. <laughs> yeah, have a splash. How could I see their head there? That's swag.